Hello again. I am back. Sorry for the long wait. I've been busy. It happens. I am back this time with another tutorial. And this this time, I've said time like five times now and again. Uh, this video, we're going to be going over this method I've discovered, showing and hiding objects in a layout. Okay? This is really cool. You can only do it in three. This is not an option in two, sadly. It would have been nice in two, but hey ho. Right, here we go. Showing and hiding. I've built two macros here. Both do the same thing, but slightly different. As we see here in the pink boxes, we have by name and then number. Let's have a look at name first, because this is a little bit simpler. This will just ease you in. Set layout one. So we're, we're in layout one. So that's why it's layout one. Next, layout one dot color. We're calling whatever object in the layout one color. And we're going to be changing its property of visibility element to hidden. So that effectively means anything in layout one called color, we are going to hide it. And then we have a break line. And then the same again. So anything in layout one by the name color, we're going to change the visibility of it to visible so we can see it again. So let me show you this quickly in use. So we are calling the color. So we know, well, we expect this object here, this sequence in the layout one to disappear and come back with every click. There we go. Gone. Boom. It's back. Boom. It's gone. Boom. It's back. Next one. We're going to be doing via number calling. So set layout one. We're still in layout one. One through three. Okay. So this time I'm going to be showing you how we can do a range. So we're doing a range of an object that happens to have a number one through to three. Okay. I will show you why or how to find out the number of the object in the layout. And then same again, we're changing the visibility property to hidden and then visible. So layout one to three, three, I know is these three objects here. So if we do it, boom, it's gone, boom, it's back. Easy as that, okay? So first off, I guess I will show you the number, how to work out the number of these elements in a layout. So we need to go to the edit window of a layout. So we see down here, edit lay one. Lay is short for layout. It works. You can have that one for free. Happy Hanukkah. Layout one. Right. We can do two things here. So we can see the first one, this is called color. That's why it, it works by name. And we are in the number one, one through three. So we need to look at this number column here, and we can see those three objects are, in fact, numbered one, two, and three. Okay? Cracking. So we go back out of here. I'm just going to hide color for now, and we'll go back into the layout window. So as a reference, anything that's hidden will be red font. So we know very obviously it is hidden. Okay, so... The reason why it was a visibility element, this is the tricky one that took me a while to work out. So in here we can see visibility is the parent, if you will. And in the child of visibility, well, we have several childs. Uh, we're changing the element part, so visibility element. The other way to work it out is this yellow line here is actually a filter option. Okay, so if we click here, we can change the filter to see what is hidden and what isn't. So that is why it is visibility element. Okay. And then we can see here, oh, I've just closed it. So we can see here hidden and visible. So that's why it's those two options. That's kind of it really. There's nothing else to it. The only thing actually I would say is when you're doing it by number is to be careful with when you delete things. So we know spin is number three. So if we delete spin from this layout. So everything below spin that was added to the layout 
has now moved up. So whatever was number four is now number three. So if we now use the same macro, you can see our load layout macro here is now disappeared and is now back. So that's the one issue using number. It's great for a very quick range, but you need to be careful you're not deleting stuff from a layout. So that's quite a nice easy one. Yes, it's a bit advanced in how to, how to get there and whatnot, but now you've seen the syntax. I'll upload the macros as well to my website for the downloads, so you can just download and import it straight into your show file. Um, that's kind of it, really. Hopefully you find a use. I have a use for it. I've shared it with a couple of people. They have their uses for it. It's just a really nice, easy way to stack things on top of each other. This is how I'm doing it. So I can show and hide certain things depending on what I want to do. Okay? Nice and easy. Happy days.